What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we got a really short one. It's mainly something I figured might be helpful for my followers, which is the C6 battery drain issue. I don't know about your C6, but I'd argue maybe 90% of them swallow these batteries up like a Golden Corral buffet. So what I'm hoping to do today is just kind of make my process a bit more streamlined. Um, I actually found the video, a YouTube video where this gentleman did this. This is not like original content, but I figured if anyone hasn't seen it, I thought it was a really cool way to just streamline the process when you pull the car in the garage. So I'm gonna get it done, let's jump into it. Now, before we jump into this, this is for the rear mount battery guys. I know for a fact the Z06s are rear mount. I don't know about the Grand Sports. Um, I do understand, I do know the base C6s have the batteries in the front. This solution won't actually work for it. And again, this is a bandage guys. If you have a parasitic draw, it is recommended to look into it. I have already gone ahead and removed the OnStar fuse. I have removed the glove box light that I found that was constantly on. Um, I haven't really tested it since then. It's been a week. I just opened the car now and it seemed to have battery, but I plan to keep it on a maintainer regardless of the time. And again, obviously you're gonna need a maintainer for this solution. You can buy something like this, which is a three amp from Battery Tender. This is the one that I tend to use. I also have a Nako 10 amp. Um, one thing I will say, this battery three amp, Battery Tender three amp here that I have in my hand, what I've learned is, if you drain this battery to the very bottom, which I've unfortunately done twice, this battery tender 3 amp will not power that battery back on. You do need the 10, 10 amp to kind of repair it. But also, the reason why we put the maintainers on it is to not let it get down to zero because you are shortening the life of the battery. Um, the solution here is to kind of automate or you know reduce the friction time of actually plugging it into the tender. Um, you can call it laziness, but I like to streamline the process. You are gonna need this. I'll link it down in the description. Um, this is going to be connected to the actual battery terminals and then you're going to need this extension line which is already outside of the box i'll show you in a second which is where this piece of your battery tender will plug into let's jump into it so the goal here now is just to make this thing more like a tesla right right now i got to open the hatch plug in the two terminals route the wire through the hatch and then make sure i shut the hatch because if i leave the hatch open naturally my lights are going to stay on and i'm going to create my own parasitic draw um, so we need a way to have an external port. That way we don't have to open the hatch and we can streamline this process as soon as we pull the car into the garage. So let's get into it. Let's look at how we're gonna set this up and uh, let's test it out. So here's our battery, right? And obviously, like I said, we have to always open and close the hatch to get it done. Not anymore. because so we're gonna use this positive and negative, obviously backwards. And we're gonna route this port here that you see right here. It's going to route behind this rug. And then we're gonna use this extension port this one here, this nice little extension, it's gonna route back here, right through here, out right here, right where your tail, uh, with your tag lights at. And then naturally, what's gonna happen is once this is all nice and dandy, this is gonna sit nice and tucked up right here. And when that's nice in there, all we gotta do is plug in the battery terminal, uh, the battery tender, right to these ports. So let's quickly review this, really quick, watch this. So here we are, right, remove this, look at that. We've got one plugged in right here. We've got the other right here, kind of routed back here, obviously tapping back here. We do have to remove this brake light to kind of access it. Um, and then you route it right here. Check it out. Nice and plugged into the car. When I want to remove it, I just pull this cable down, cover it with that. You can't even see it. I love it. Wrapping this thing up, guys. Like I said, a real short video. I think it's something that all C6 owners kind of struggle with. Um, and again, it's just a bandage. If you have a serious parasitic straw, you might look want to look into that. But this will definitely help, you know, prevent, you know, kind of walking out your car a week later and it be dead. Um, drop a comment below. Ask any questions below. I will link the products in the description and the YouTube channel that I originally saw this from because I appreciate finding good content like this that kind of just helps out. Um, everyone with their vehicles. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.